Do you guys want to play a fun game with me? Here's a game that I like to play. Let's see how many people in the comments tell me that Liza Koshy is going to therapy. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I jump into this, uh, a huge thank you for everybody who got involved with my first Instagram giveaway. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, do it at The Rewired Soul. I'm trying to get to 10K followers so I can get the little swipe up, but I'm doing giveaways over there. And I gave away 20 free copies of my book, Rewire Your Anger, and I already sent them out to most everybody. So if you are on that list and you haven't DM'd me yet with your email address, come on over, DM me. Let me send you that copy of the book. All right, but anyways, woo hoo hoo! I have had so many tweets and DMs on uh, Instagram and comments on my videos and they said, Liza Koshy, Liza Koshy, you need to talk about Liza Koshy's new video. So last night, my beautiful girlfriend and I, we sat down on the couch and we're like, let's see what's going on with this girl, Liza Koshy, right? And we sat down and I knew it was about mental health, you know, you can tell by the title and all that. And I, man, okay, so here's what I did. I looked at Tristan, and I said, Tristan, how much do you wanna bet? How much do you wanna bet this millionaire Liza Koshy is gonna talk about her mental health break, but she didn't even go to therapy. And oh, hoo, 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 Liza Koshy, you got me, you got me. Because Liza K Koshy did go to therapy and that is so amazing. I'm gonna dive more into that in a minute. But like, first I just wanna start out by like saying like, this is so awesome. Like, I, I watch YouTubers. I watch YouTubers with their mental health breaks and their all these things and Liza Koshy is legit. Legit, one of the first big YouTubers to just mention or even say that she's going to therapy. So many people are just trying to do it on her own and like Liza Koshy has the resources and she's going. So big ups to Liza Koshy, that is amazing. So I don't know much about Liza Koshy. I, uh, I watched David Dobrik and I saw the famous video about her and David um, splitting up and Liza Koshy, um, she she referred back to that video and she talked about how she had to work on herself. Welcome back, Liza, to her own channel. <laughs> if you're used to my fun videos, this one's not gonna be that fun. It's gonna be a different adjective. It's gonna be um, honest. Uh, although this is supposed to be a serious video, I like to keep things lighthearted, man. Just know I'm trying to not take life too seriously. Um, because I, I did this past year. It's the kind of stuff that I didn't realize Tumblr quotes like, only time can heal or you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else kind of stuff i didn't know those were real they're real and yeah this is huge this is huge this is something that I, I keep trying to teach all of you so it's funny because right before this video right before this video i was talking to my mom on the phone and we were talking about how people get offended when we discuss the psychology of how people are naturally self-centered by default. By default, people are self-centered. So I'm not gonna dive into the whole brain science right now, but there's a part of the brain up top in the back called the posterior cingulate cortex. This runs the default mode network. So think about it, default mode network. Your default, your default is to be selfish and self-centered. That is a part of the brain that we know, we know only thinks about you. It creates stories and all sorts of things about you, right? So we're selfish and self-centered by default. But I'm proud of Liza Koshy because I, I personally had to learn as well that I could not date anybody for a very long time because I was not in the right mental place to be dating. So part of Liza's and David's breakup was Liza knew, Liza knew that she had to go and work on herself before she could truly love anybody. I'm thinking about making a follow-up video um, asking if Liza Koshy and David Dobrik should get back together now that Liza Koshy has gone through her whole, you know, um, mental health recovery and all that and working on herself. And this is an important topic because a lot of people, you know, they split up and they get back together and you know, this person works on themselves and all that. So if you're interested in make, me making that follow-up video, let me know down in the comments below. Like maybe the topic can be like, when you're ready to start dating again or should you get back together with somebody after you work on yourself? All right. This is gonna sound so lame, but I really wanna spread love, but I have to have it first, you know? 
I didn't realize that me being real and vulnerable and open and honest would help others. And I also didn't think people wanted to see that side of me. I wanted to show that clip right there because it's, it's so important, all right? Like, here's the thing I keep trying to teach you guys is that sharing your story and opening up helps other people. So remember how I was just talking about how we're selfish and self-centered by default? So here's a great example. Ask yourself why. Why don't you tell your story? Why don't you share? I have a lot of people in the, the Rewired Soul Facebook group and Discord server, and a lot of people who still DM me and say, hey, I don't feel comfortable opening up in that group. Think about it, why? Because you're afraid. You're afraid of what people are gonna think about you, right? You're afraid to get vulnerable. 1000% selfish and self-centered. Doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Doesn't mean that's a bad thing. But the first step is to acknowledge the reason I don't wanna open up and share is because I'm worried about what people will think about me. I used to be the same way. I used to sit around, keep my mouth shut because I didn't wanna get judged for my story, what I've gone through, what my head's thinking and all of that. But the, the tip I will give you is what Liza Koshy's figuring out too, is get out of yourself and don't think about what people are gonna think about me. Think about how can my story help other people? So I'm always grateful when somebody like Liza gets on her very large platform and shares her story because it lets people know that they're not alone. And my girl Liza got into the solution in this video too. You have to find your routine. You have to find your recipe for your own happiness. It's like wanting a filet mignon and you're looking at somebody else's recipe for happiness and you copy theirs exactly and you end up with a cake. You're diabetic, you can't have the cake. That clip right there is so, 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 so important. It is one of the most important things on earth, all right? So she's saying, what works for me might not work for you. And I'm here to tell you the same thing. If I have not made that clear enough, let me repeat it. What works for me, Chris, might not work for you, okay? So just, just understand that. This is actually something I learned very early in my recovery is people would say like, what keeps me sober might get you high or loaded, right? So when I'm here and I'm sharing my experiences or suggestions or educating you on different like uh, psychology theories or you know neuroscience or whatever it is, I'm trying to give you as much information as possible so you can make decisions, right? Now, that doesn't mean don't try things that I do. That doesn't mean don't try things that Liza does, but don't like beat yourself up and say, oh, it worked for them, but it doesn't work for me. For example, for some people, playing the guitar is very therapeutic. I can't play the guitar, so what works for that person might not work for me. Does that make sense? So every single video that I make, I want you to just take things in, try different things, keep what works, get rid of what doesn't, all right? So this is interesting too, like if you look at some of my videos, like I, I read 90% of my comments, if not more, and <laughs> people's self-centeredness really shows in that too. Hell, let me give an example. Um, um, if you want to look at the, um, the comments on my video I made about the YouTuber burnout myth and look how many people say, but me, but my situation, but my situation, it's like, okay, well that video wasn't made for you. Okay. So you need to find out what works for you. For example, for example, um, I know that a lot of people in my community have physical disabilities, right? So what works for me definitely might not work for you. So my recommendation is to check out um, other people who are doing things who struggle with a disability. A great example that a lot of you um, watch is Molly Burke. Molly Burke is blind, right? And she does a lot of things. So I would look to her for inspiration. I would look at Molly and say, okay, if she can do it, I can do it. But I'm not blind and I watch Molly Burke to get inspired because when I see Molly doing something, I'm like, okay, so if Molly can do this, what's my excuse? Another great one is Ricky Pointer. I'm gonna link both Molly and Ricky down below. Ricky is actually a YouTuber I follow for a while since before my channel started doing well. And um, Ricky, she struggles with um, hearing loss, right? Um, being deaf and she is amazing, but she overcomes challenges and she does uh, public speaking and all of that. So go check her channel out. But anyways, if you struggle with a very specific situation, like go talk to people who understand that. For example, that's why we have the Discord server 
That's why we have the Facebook group because I don't, I haven't been through all of your experiences. Go into those groups and talk to people who have been through your experience because again, what works for me might not work for you. Liza listed a few things that work for her and, and these I think can be universal for a lot of people. One of them is she listed the Instagram accounts that she follows. Like positive affirmations, there's actually some science behind it. Like trust me, I thought positive affirmations were corny as hell. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But I'm the type of stubborn jerk where until I find the science behind it, I think it's all baloney, right? But there's actually science behind positive affirmations. Um, I, I would need to look up the studies, but yeah, there is. And I can make a video on that if you guys want. But she talks about that. Therapy, therapy is huge. So let's talk about therapy, therapy real quick. I don't care what option you use, but just use an option. For those of you or those of us who are fortunate enough to have health insurance, especially here in the United States, talk to your doctor. See if they can refer you to a therapist or a psychologist, right? Um, talk to, uh, you know, friends. And I know a lot of you have asked me to make videos about how to find the right therapist. Talk to them. The other thing you can do is call your insurance provider, okay? Call your insurance provider and ask them, are there any therapists in my network who specialize in trauma, who specialize in depression, who specialize in addiction, who specialize in the LGBTQ community, who specialize in dealing with people with disabilities. I'm reading a book right now by Charlemagne the God called uh, Shook One, and they have a part in there talking about finding an African-American therapist and all sorts of stuff. So talk to your providers. Psychology Today can also find you um, providers too in your area. I am partnered with the online therapy company, BetterHelp. Um, Tristan uses it, I have friends who use it. So if you wanna check that out, it's always down in the description. I'll link it down in the pinned comment as well. But just go out there and get help. It's always great to have somebody who's there one-on-one -on -one to sit there and listen. I am not your therapist. I am a guy that you're watching on a screen. I don't know you personally, all right? I'm here to encourage you to go out there and do something. But Liza also talks about meditation. That's something I'm trying to get you guys into. I just put up um, uh, one of my new guided meditations yesterday and it's YouTuber inspired. Go check that thing out. You guys loved it. Great news, I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna do more because there's such a positive response, so I'm gonna do more. Meditation, she also mentions medication. Yes, talk to your doctor about that. Some primary care doctors can prescribe medication, so me, I am on uh, an antidepressant slash anti-anxiety medication. Um, I was on Lexapro for a while, went to Prozac, I'm back on Lexapro. My primary care doctor prescribes that. Those of you who have the opportunity or you're willing to wait for your appointment, go to speak to a psychiatrist. That is the number one person you should talk to, but a primary care doctor can usually get you in the right area, even though they don't specialize in mental health medications, all right? but. When it comes to our mental health, just try everything and find out what works for you. I do a million different things for my mental health. Sometimes I don't even know which one is working. I don't know which one is the secret sauce, but I just do all of them. I just do all of them because something's working. I'm a pretty happy guy, right? Somebody, by the way, I'm gonna put a tweet up on the screen today. Someone described me as like, depressed and self-loathing i'm like which guy are you watching that like maybe if you met me like years ago that was a good description of me but like for the most part like i'm in a pretty cheery mood this smile on my face is usually here all right but anyways i'm super proud of liza koshi and I, I hope she's getting the positive feedback that she deserves and makes more videos about this. You know, just talking to people and connecting with people. And like, I don't know, right now, Liza Koch is my, my number one. I haven't seen many other YouTubers talk about going to therapy. Anna Akana is obviously one. Gabby Hanna goes to therapy. You know what I mean? Maybe I do have a bias. Maybe I do have a bias. Chris just got a little clarity. Maybe I have a bias towards YouTubers who actually go to therapy. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you do to work on your mental health. What have you found that works for you? Let us know down in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do a video about relationships after you work on yourself. And you know, I would use Liza and David as an example for that. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. Some of you asked like, what are the specific perks of being a patron? Click or tap on that icon. Every single tier is listed. All right, so thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.